This is the Kokoni EC1 3D printer targeted towards budget oriented beginner users of 3D printers. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I'm going to give you some of the key features of it, considerations that you need to think about if you're trying to figure out if this is the right printer for you and who I think this is really best for. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy and this is Roadside RC. What you'll tend to find me doing on this channel is more remote control vehicle oriented things, but that does come with the desire to do 3D printing. And for uh, over a year, year and a half now, I have had a Prusa Mark III, which is one of the top of the line printers that you can get for 3D printing. It does all sorts of materials and I've been printing a lot of different things. But one of the big negatives of that Prusa printer is it's really expensive. And the the learning curve for how to get in and how to start printing is really really high so when i saw this kokoni 3d printer ah this thing might be very interesting because it's on the complete opposite end of the spectrum the first thing to know is that this printer comes completely assembled as you see it here straight out of the box you plug the power cord in it already has filament loaded in the back you can literally go straight into app setup and printing within minutes of taking it out of the box. The whole key to success with this printer is you don't need a lot of the 3D modeling software. You don't need to talk about a 3D printing slicer. You don't need any of that stuff. You need a compatible smartphone downloading the app and connect it in here to the printer. And it gives you all of the ability of everything you need to do. You can come in to create and recommendations and it has a whole plethora of objects that have already been loaded into the system that you can literally click and print such as this vase this is one of the first things that we printed straight out of the box the day that we opened it up but if you don't want to just print everything that they have on their app you can actually still create your own files in something like Autodesk Fusion 360, which is what I personally use. My son and I had created this little drone mount that he's used a couple times. And so I was able to take the files straight from that 360 design software, upload them via the Kokoni website uh, straight into their system, and then it's available on the app, and then I can print the same files here that I was printing before. One of the things that we found super interesting is they actually have a facial recognition and creation software. So my lovely son, James here, what we did is we actually take the photo of him as it suggests, and then it prints a mini him. How cool is that? What did you think about that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Literally a couple photos in there and then all of a sudden out prints a little small uh, human head. Now the other thing that they say is that you can also do object modeling where you take the phone itself and you do various pictures around an object and then it will do a 3D rendering of that object. Go ahead and create it in the software so that you can then print it. Similar to this, except even on a more fancy level, more 3D full scanning of the object. I tried this multiple times with multiple objects and I was never able to get it to actually model as it said it would. So you just go around. I never got it to work, but it does recognize that this is in beta phase, that this is just in test. Hopefully we get this a little bit uh, better so that we can use it because honestly, that would be amazing if we can just use your phone to scan something. That would be a huge, huge win for this printer. Now, four things to consider if you're thinking about buying this printer. The first thing to consider is the material itself. The printer will only work with PLA, which is one of like a dozen of the different filaments that you can use in printing. It's a good one and it works really well for stuff like what we see here, like this, you know, bust of my son or it works well for stuff like this vase, like this, this kind of like thing. It works absolutely great for prints really, really easy. But there is some limited use to PLA and you will sometimes want to print in other materials depending on what you're printing. Um, the other part of that is all of their printer material, this PLA, comes in these fancy little proprietary box things. So that means if you're buying filament for going in here, which they have multiple colors of that PLA that you can choose from, it's going to have to be purchased like this. These are about $20 a piece, which is a reasonable price for what you're getting. 
but you can get more filament for less if you're using a more independent neutral system but it just doesn't work with this printer so you are hooked into their proprietary system the most obvious consideration is the size of the print bed itself i believe it's a hundred millimeters by a hundred millimeters that is just limiting you do have the ability to make some pretty cool stuff i have a little squirtle being printed here right now but there is opportunity as you get into the 3d printing world you know my other printer is i think 240 by 240 so a whole one and a half times again in both directions of this and there has been times in which even that size of print bed has been too small for me so this does mean that you are going to be limited to the size clearly the size of the thing that you are printing is going to be small depending on where you use it and how you're going to be using it you'll notice so far it's really really quiet i've been doing this whole video with this thing still printing this squirtle and it's almost silent you know like really it's very very quiet much quieter than my other printer so if this is going to be in an office or maybe a classroom as an example i think this could be a really good thing and lastly as i mentioned earlier it does come fully assembled which is really great for those who may be a little bit concerned about the technical assembly and nuance of assembling a 3d printer however it also means that you're a little bit less familiar with it so as something may go wrong eventually with this printer uh, are you going to be familiar enough to take it apart and fix the pieces and understand how it goes together so that is one thing that you do want to consider is it is very nice that it prints but if it goes wrong at some point in the future are you going to be ready to repair it so who do i think this printer is really targeted towards who is the target audience for this beginners because you don't have to do anything except for download an app and plug it in so if you are really nervous about the technical jumping into a full size printer um with the chip to assemble and has all the nuance and detail there and learning all the softwares and all that kind of stuff definitely this is a great great choice the second is for people that are always looking to make small things there's lots of folks out there that use their 3d printers to create chess pieces or little mini figurines or stuff along those lines if that's all you're ever doing this would work great it has different quality modes so when i printed things such as this vase the detail and on this vase came out really really nice actually and so it has the ability to print pretty high quality which means some of those more precision pieces that you're looking to create they'll actually come out nicely on it but i'll tell you the most excitement that's come so far is when we first got this printer i handed the app to my son and you can go in here on the recommendations page and it'll pull up all these different things that it can print and man my son sat there for like 30 minutes plus just looking through and starring and saving all the different cool things that he thinks he wants to print that might be a really key market here my goal for this printer is that i think it's going to end up maybe in my son's classroom and this is going to be something where the teacher can come in on like a weekly basis and if somebody wants a reward they get to choose something to print click the button and by the end of the day they have their reward printed out live right there in the classroom that is pretty awesome so that kind of use could be really great for this so this legitimately is i believe the easiest 3d printer that you can possibly use in order to get started in printing or straight to the kokoni website where you can get it directly from them if you get it from them they're even offering a seven day refund or a 30 day exchange if you order it directly from them so you know there is obviously for two hundred dollars you could get the printer with some material and as soon as it arrives you can be up and printing some pretty cool stuff i hope this video was useful for you if you have any questions about what i have done with this printer or details about it please leave them down in the comments section and i will be happy to answer them thank you and goodbye